at all the stuff that Grumman brought in. Including a lady. I think this ends up being one of the best spots anyways. Long walk to the cafe. Hey guys, we're in our crew car. <laughs> we were lucky, someone just returned it. It looks like they only have one and it is, it's hot after walking. It's not too bad, but once you're walking in the heat for a good five, 10 minutes, it's a 10 minute walk maybe. Yeah. You're, a little, you're a little hot. So we need to go get firewood. There was firewood at the campsite, but it was being drenched by the um, sprinkler system that they had, so no firewood. We need to go get some. Now let's go see. Let's go see Kernville real quick. How far do you think the store is? She said it's five minutes at the most. Oh, okay. Oh, fresh. The air feels good though. Okay, go ahead. Someone should go first. You tell me. It's cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> come on, you made me come over here, so now you gotta go. It's cold. And, but you have the proper shoes on, I don't. I mean, it's just sand. Yeah, it's what you got to the bad side and it wasn't sand. Watch out for twigs and stuff. Good job. Next morning. All right. It's the next morning, guys. This is a rather impressive airport. Besides being a mountain airport that's middle of uh, civilization, but still on the, on the edge of it, Sequoia National Park is a couple miles north of here. Um, 
having the hot showers, which work fantastic, is good. When you turn it on, it'll blow cold, but then after uh, 30 seconds or so, it'll start getting hot. Um, it did stop for a second and then it restarted. Um, and then no issue after that. Um, the faucets don't work, but that's okay. You just use the shower head, but it's fantastic. Everything's clean. The porta potties are well serviced. Um, they're, they're sanitary, they're clean, they don't stink, anything like that. The airport manager came by yesterday, Mike, uh, to make sure that everything was good and to check that everybody here paid their camping fees. So be sure to pay your camping fees, don't try to get out of it. Mike will catch you and he'll kick you off the property. Although yesterday he didn't have to uh, do that to anybody. Campground itself, uh, green grass for the most part. Um, there are a bunch of holes in the grass so at night uh, when it's not well lit you got to really watch where you step to make sure you don't roll your ankle um, that's an issue as far as firewood goes they have firewood um, on the campsites there's plenty of uh, driftwood that's along the banks of the Kern River which is flowing pretty heavy right now um, filming June 2023 um, but it's all wet so you still got to well, get your own the, the sprinkler had, yeah, the sprinklers had got the, the wood wet. Um, but you can probably look off the side. You don't need to buy some firewood. We did, and we got it to our uh, starter log, so I didn't have to deal with um, turning on the uh, uh, the fire, getting it going without it extinguishing itself. So that two-hour fire log really saved a lot of time, huh? Just yeah, light good. it. Morning. Morning. Just light it and forget it. You want coffee? And then, um, oh, at night, the stars are fantastic. Um, I think not necessarily the elevation because it's not that high in elevation. It's like 2,600 feet. However, uh, uh, there's not s any smog. It's clear. You know, we're in the southern Sierras, just inside of it. Um, Bakersfield, which is the closest town, is still like you know, however many miles away. Um, so there's not a lot of uh, smog that creeps into this valley right now at this time of year or at this time, this trip, I don't know. But that was pretty cool. I wasn't expected to see it so clear. Not as clear as say Death Valley or um, um, Saline Valley, which is just on the other side of these mountains in the Owens Valleys um, east of us, but pretty close. Um, as the sun's getting down, going down, around 11 o'clock is when it really gets pitch black dark. You can still kind of see um, the city lights on the other side of the mountain range, Bakersfield and Fresno, I would, I would assume. Um, but you know it's the city lights because you can see the slight glow, and then it gets a little darker, and then the slight glow again. So that was pretty interesting to notice. Just west of the campgrounds, there's a um, sandbar which is a good place to lay out and maybe uh, uh, get wet from the Kern River. Um, it's all moving water right now, it's all rushing, so it's not like you're, it's, it's not still water, that's for sure. But, you know, it's river water, so it's not, don't expect it to be completely clean. Um, by the time you uh, rinse off, you still have some debris on you, so you gotta kinda swipe it away. So that's nice. Um, a lot of airplanes here. Um, when we got here, there was only one other airplane. We're like, oh, cool. So we went and got the, uh, the, the airport car real quick to go get some firewood and some, some dry goods. Um, so we got some dry goods in the kitchen that is just waiting. <laughs> we forgot to bring the bag. Um, but by the time we got back, there were another three other airplanes here and they took the parking spot right next to our airplane. So lesson learned there is to um, claim your park, your your uh, your camp spot as soon as possible. As soon as you land, claim what you want. Actually, I think we ended up better being a little bit dead center here because we're further away from other camp spots. Other camp spots, there's a couple of them that are right next to each other. Um, so we're out in the standard center, dead center here by ourselves. It's no big deal. There's a smaller tree. I think I miscalculated where the sun was going to rise, so uh, the tent was not. Uh, protected from the sunlight this morning but now I know you know I didn't have a compass with me although I should have if you want to get in the water be sure to bring your water shoes because it is not just perfect beach sand in there it is coarse 
painful sand at points. Uh, something will poke you. It's a lot of twigs and rocks and uh, who knows what else going on in the water there. So you want to have some water shoes with you as well. Um, oh yeah, bring some floats or some rafts. If you want to drink some beers on the Kern River, you could do that. We didn't have any, but certainly a lot of other people that flew in here, first thing they did was they blew up their uh, inner tube and they headed out with a six pack and came back a few hours later feeling pretty good about the trip so far. So that inner tubes floats go pretty pretty far for you here. Um, you don't want to go dead center. Um, you want to be on the side of the river right here where some of the offshoots are. Uh, just because the river's flowing so hard right now from all the snow melt. Um, but uh, it looks like they had a good time. Camping fees right now are 20, 20 bucks or uh, and then the uh, partial rental for the rental car is 25 bucks. Town's real small. There's a brewery there. There's a uh, couple of restaurants. Um, there's a, the Sierra, the Sierra Way uh, supermarket, which pretty much has everything you need. They got camping supplies there. They sell fishing license, fishing um, rods, tackle. Um, it's a full, they got fresh vegetables, they got a, a, a fresh meat. Yeah, they got a butcher shop. <laughs> We're gonna go to the cafe, have breakfast, and uh, head out. But overall, I'd say this is a fantastic experience. So nice place. I thought we only had one spoon. Can you give me the